welcome back to program with that's me miss arissa from malvern family resource center it's so nice to see you here today let's start off with taking our 10 little fingers out and we will sing our hello song are you ready show me those 10 little fingers and now can you wave them back and forth back and forth back and forth hello everyone how are you how are you how are you hello everyone how are you how are you today bonjour everyone clap your hands clap your hands clap your hands bonjour everyone clap your hands how are you today can you roll your arms ni hao everyone roll your arms roll your arms roll your arms ni how everyone roll your arms how are you today lay ho everyone pound your fist pound your fist pound your fist lay ho everyone pound your fist how are you today kumusa everyone move side to side side to side side to side kumusta everyone move side to side how are you today last one ready vani come everyone and shout hooray shout hooray shout Vani come, everyone shout hooray! How are you today? Hello my friends! Today for program, I brought my friend Tim! What animal is Tim? He has a shell to protect him, he has a little tail, and he has one, two, three, Four legs. Do you know what animal he is? It starts with the sound ta, ta, ta. a turtle. You got it. And I know turtles love to hide. Can you cover your face and hide like a turtle? The turtles at the pond like to hide away. Peekaboo! Hide away. Are you hiding? Peekaboo! Hide away. The turtles at the pond like to hide away. Peekaboo! All day long. Turtles love to eat different foods. Let's sing a song and find out what Tim the turtle likes. There was a little turtle who lived in a box. He swam in a puddle and climbed up some rocks. He snapped at the mosquito. He snapped at the flea. He snapped at the minnow and he even snapped at me. Ah! Then he caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow. <laughs> but he can't catch me. I have a big turtle. His name is Big Tim. I 
put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. Then he drank up all the water and ate up all the soap. And now he's in the bathtub with a bubble in his throat. Oh no, bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, pop. Bubble, 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 bubble. Bubble, bubble, pop. Now, can you make a teeny Tim Turtle? We're gonna use our hands to do this. All you have to do is take one hand, close it, but make sure your thumb is sticking out, and then use your other hand to make a shell, just like so. I have a little turtle. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. Then he drank up all the water and ate up all the soap. And now he's in the bathtub with a bubble in his throat. Oh, bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. Can you help me pop the bubbles, my friends? Take out your pointer finger and let's pop all the bubbles. <laughs> Did you get them? Come on, go get them, go pop them. <laughs> All right, one more time. Pop, 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 pop. Great job, everybody. So we know turtles like to hide in the shells. They also like to eat mosquitoes and minnows and other insects and drink water but let's sing a song to learn how turtles walk on land and how they swim in the ocean i'm a little turtle on the sand i go slow when on dry land. Can you move your turtle very slowly just like this? When I'm in the ocean, watch and see. I'm so quick, you can't catch me. Can you move your turtle really fast like they're swimming in the ocean? Let's do that song one more time. And this time, Miss Ursa will take out her little tiny Tim, so you can follow after me. I'm a little turtle on the sand. I go slow when on dry land. Move your turtle very slowly. When I'm in the ocean, watch and see. I'm so quick. You can't catch me. Whoa, look at how fast all of our turtles are swimming. Take out your 10 little fingers and let's pretend they're little turtles and let's count them. Are you ready? Show me number one for your fingers. You got it. One little two little three little turtles four little five little what comes after five six little turtles seven little eight little nine little turtles ten little turtles go swimming 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 can you show me how you swim if you were a turtle? Wow, very nice. 
It looks like you'd be a really fast swimming turtle too. All right, my friends, it looks like Tim the turtle is getting a little sleepy. So let's let him have his nap. And why don't we get ready for a story? You know what to do. Take out those 10 little fingers. You got it. And let's shut them and open, shut them, open, shut them. Do a little clap. Today's story is called, Where Should Turtle Be? by Susan Ring, illustrated by Lori Allen Klein. Where do you think turtles should be? Should they be at the pond like this picture? Let's find out. Late one night, when you couldn't hear a sound, there came a cracking and a popping. Something moving on the ground. Inch by inch, a turtle slowly broke away from its nest on the beach and headed for the bay. Uh-oh, here's a turtle nest. All the baby turtles are going towards the water. But this little turtle is going towards the bay in the wrong direction. Guided by the lights, he knew they were the key to finding his new home, wherever that should be. But the lights weren't stars and the lights weren't the moon. They were houses and cars and he turned too soon. When Turtle stopped to rest by an old and crooked tree, he said, I think I'm lost. This isn't where I ought to be. Little Turtle cried, and with his teeny voice he said, I'm not where I should be. I am in the woods instead. Uh-oh. What other animals in the woods with Turtle? What animal is this? A bear! A bear came out when he heard the turtle's plea. He said, a box turtle, that's what you should be. You wouldn't have to swim. You could feast on fruit. You could crawl around the forest and sleep a lot to boot. Turtle tried it for a while, but he couldn't stick to it. He was not a box turtle and he just couldn't do it. No, thank you, said the turtle. It's just not me. I really don't think that's what I'm supposed to be. And so he walked on. When Turtle stopped to rest by a cattail in the sun, he said, where am I now? Can you help me? Anyone? Little Turtle cried and with his teeny voice, he said, I'm not where I should be. I am by the pond instead. What animal is also by the pond? This animal goes, Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. A frog jumped down when he heard the turtle's plea. He said, a painted turtle, that's what you could be. You could sun on logs, you could munch on bugs, you could stroll around the pond and slurp down slugs. 
There's the painted turtle right on the log. And here's our little turtle. Turtle tried it for a while, but he couldn't stick to it. He was not a painted turtle and he just couldn't do it. No, thank you, said the turtle. It's just not me. I really don't think that's what I'm supposed to be. And so he walked on. Turtle was unhappy trudging through the salty marsh. The sun was hot, the mud was deep. This habitat was harsh. He pulled and yanked and flailed around in the icky, sticky, muddy ground. Turtle tried without much luck, but sat there stuck in gobs of muck. A beetle flew down when he heard the turtle's plea. He said, a diamond back terrapin, that's what you should be. You could crawl on the mud, you could crunch salty snails, you could also eat clams and... Wait, the turtle shouted. I won't try it for a day. I am not a terrapin and I must get my way. Then the turtle whispered, you know, it's just not me. I really don't think that's what I'm supposed to be. Then Beetle tickled Turtle's shell. The turtle laughed so hard that pop, he flew out from the mud about a mile and a yard. Little turtle cried, and with his teeny voice, he said, I was looking for my home, and ouch, my head is sore instead. A crab scurried down when he heard the turtle's plea. He pointed and he said, out there, that's where you're supposed to be. Out there, little turtle, it's well within your reach. Then Turtle looked around and saw he had landed. Hmm, where did he land? What place do you think this is? The beach, that's right. Inch by inch, he headed that way from the soft and sandy beach to the salty silver bay. Then Turtle slid in and he shouted, this is me, cause I'm supposed to be a turtle in the sea. The end. I hope you had fun learning about turtles today because we've been sitting down for quite a long time. Let's all stand up and move our bodies. Everybody stand up, stand up, stand up. Everybody stand up and let's move. So we know turtles can live in all sorts of different places like the ocean. Do you know what else is in the ocean? The slippery fish. Can you get your slippery fish out? Just like so.
Can you clap your hands? Okay, everyone, come back to your spot and sit down. T is for turtle. Let's practice writing the letter T. You will need some paper, a yellow marker, and one more marker, any color you like. My favorite color is purple, so I got a purple marker. For our children's writing, parents, you want to get a yellow marker and write the capital letter T and the lowercase letter T. That way, children can just trace the lines. What sound does T make? Does T make the sound ba 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 ba? No. Does T make the sound? Mmm mmm mmm. No. Does T make the sound? got it. And here's our big T's and our little T's. And even before tracing the letters, parents, you can also do a row of regular lines that go from up to down and lines that go left to right. Left to right. This way your child can practice writing the lines and then when it comes to writing the letters, they know what kind of lines to put together. We also said T is for turtle. So let's write turtle at the bottom of our paper. T, U, R T L E Turtle. If you're having a hard time seeing the letters, don't worry. We are now going to get our favorite colored marker and start tracing the yellow line.
So just try your best to follow the yellow lines, just like Miss Arissa. But because Miss Arissa is big, my lines are going to be really straight. So parents, when your little ones are tracing, don't worry if some of the lines are like this, or it's like this. They are still practicing precision and muscle control. And as they get better at drawing and using their finger muscles, their lines will become straighter and more precise. All right, now it's time to spell turtle. Do you remember what turtle starts with? Turtle starts with the letter T. Next comes the letter U. Then R. What sound does R make? Ruh, ruh, ruh. Great job. Here's a lowercase t. Next we have L. Now, E. I hope you enjoyed program today, my friends. I know I had a great time with you. For now, Miss Arissa does have to say goodbye, but I'll see you in the next video. Can you help me? Let's sing goodbye to each other. Take out those 10 little fingers, and we're going to use them to clap our hands. We had a happy time. We had a happy time. Hi, oh, this I know. We had a happy time. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next program. Mwah.